Hey guys, this is Effector. I bring you a World of Tanks replay. Um, this one's in the Cromwell on Himseldorf. Let's get this thing started. This was actually the first battle I played after I bought my Cromwell back because I sold it to I think I to get a Centurion Seven One actually. So I finally decided to buy it back, and I'm playing with one of my friends here from my clan. We decided since we're in fast medium tanks, we're gonna go up the hill here. So, I'm going to fast forward it a little bit while we get up this hill. We have two T-49s coming with us, I believe. And an M8A1. So, let me slow it down here so as we get to the top of the hill. Now, at first we didn't think there was actually anybody up here because... That T-49 goes around the castle there, doesn't see anybody. I'm here, I didn't spot anybody. And as soon as I drive forward here, um, I spot a uh, VK-3002M. Uh, he misses me, I put one into him. Uh, the TD behind me misses, misses him. We, did, we decide to uh, advance over here to them to keep them from coming up the hill. So, we have relatively good gun depression. So, he's not the only guy down there. There's there's an M3 Lee down there. Uh, Panzer IV is spamming the map. So, oh, and an AT2 is there too. So, I shoot him in the cupola and back up so that they can't shoot me while I'm reloading. My, my friend shows up over here and... Starts putting shots into these guys too. Now I'm trying to get in a position where I can still shoot this this Panzer, uh, this VK. He pulls forward, fires, takes a hit, I believe. I see a Churchill three right there, so I start trying to put hits into him, or put shots into him. My friend takes another hit, so he's on about 68% health, I believe. 64, that was close. So I start putting shots into this this Churchill 3's uh, turret. And he can't shoot me back. So I put two, I put three into him. And he starts shooting the wall above me. So I nose back over the edge here to see if I can get the gun depression to shoot down at him without exposing too much of myself. So then he starts to drive up after us. I bounce my first shot, put another one into him, and he gets taken out by the T-49. Then a very unfortunate Sherman comes up right after him, trying to save him, and he dies too. So there's now an M3 Lee and a VK and an AT-2. There's their artillery. I want to take out their artillery so that he can't shoot me. Something bounces off. That's a miracle with all, like, 76 millimeters of turret armor. So the artillery has fired. There, that's my, I crit it, I crit him, put a, put another one into him, that one actually kills him. This VK down there had actually put a shot into me, so we have them backing down the hill. Now I'm trying to get in a position where they can't, like, shoot me, but I can shoot at them. I get a very lucky bounce off the top of my turret there, so it's not the place I want to be hanging around too much longer. And I see that Tank Alley has fallen at this point, so I'm thinking about it. I'm I'm looking around and I'm like I I'm probably about to turn around so I see if I can get any more good shots on these guys without exposing my whole tank and since I can I decide to turn around and go back down the hill now my friend follows somewhat he's gone over to see if he can spot those guys from that position and we don't think that those guys are going to push back up the hill anyway so I see a Hellcat over there, and he's out. He's out of there. Now the comet does about I don't know uh, 75 going downhill, and about 64 on open road, and it weighs about 27 tons. A Hellcat now weighs like 9, 17 tons, something like that. And this guy goes for the cap, so. Well, he ki he goes around, kills our artillery, and then he starts to go for the cap. So, uh, 
So, I missed my first shot. I'm going to reload, put one into him. He stops. I just ram him. Take it, kill him. And so, now I'm waiting for my tracks to get back up. Now, it's 11 to 9. Uh, they only have their two VKs left. And an AT2 and a Hetzer. We know where their Hetzer is, so... I figure that all the guys over on that flank can probably handle that one Hetzer. My friend is about to run into a un very unfor unfortunate event here. Because he stops uh, to turn around to see if he can scout the road out, I guess. I can't. I don't remember exactly what he was doing. And there's that VK. And there's both the VKs. I see that he's getting raped. So, um... I turn around to try and get back over there, but there's no way I'm going to make it there in time. And he dies. I don't think I was spotted, so I'm going to keep rolling down this road. And they're going to start driving away from me, so I'm going to have shots on their rear here, here in a minute. Now, they did actually kill that Hetzer, so... There's my friend's dead body. And they're facing the complete opposite direction. So I fire one into the guy and immediately back up. Now, I don't want to get caught out in the open here. I can see that guy is coming down the road straight at me. I tell the guys to go and cap. Uh, there's only an AT-2 over there. So I figured that those, that those three guys can actually handle the AT-2. And so... I'm running... I'm trying to get up the hill here. That's what I was going for, so see if I can flank around them and go back to there and go over there and help those guys out. Cause I didn't figure that these guys would cap because they know where all of our tanks are, except for the probably the artillery. So I'm going up this hill. They can see that there's a threat at their base and that the AT two may or may not be able to deal with it. So there's one of the VKs. That's the that's the relic guy. Now, I'm waiting, I'm going to probably sit here and see if the other guy followed me up, and this could have, this could be a mistake if uh, he actually had, because I wouldn't have been able to out-DPM him anyways, but he doesn't come up, so I figure I'm good to go and start, and there's an M3 Lee sitting over in our base, so I don't see what the problem is, and he gets, no, that that's still the other guy, my bad, so... Suddenly, everybody that was over there at their base has now died, and I'm, me and the M3 Lee are the last two guys remaining on the team. Now, this is where things start to go downhill, because I've done about 2,000 damage so far in this game. I, I know that it's not recorded on screen, I just remember that from doing it. So, I start to come down here to maybe kill the AT2 and flank around the VKs. There's the, one of their VKs is off to my side, so I blow through that intersection. Now, I, now I know I'm spotted, so what? I don't know if this AT2 just wasn't fast enough to turn around or what he was doing, but I light him on fire and just keep driving. And this is where it goes downhill. I come around this corner. He puts a shot into me. I track him, and I he puts another shot into me, and there's no way I'm going to circle kill this guy because... He's a medium tank, and I'm fighting him in a medium tank. And I just about get him, but I die. Now, I think I switch over to this M3 Lee. I'm not for sure. But, um, so, I'm out of this. So, there's three tanks remaining. This is pretty much a most definite loss here. I don't think the M3 Lee's actually held out in this game. But, hey, it was still a pretty good battle in my Cromwell. I did 2,000... 668 damage I think um I'm my computer crashed the other day and wiped half the crap off so well wiped the unsaved documents off of it anyways and that was on there so I think I did like 2000 like 600 something damage got 1500 XP out of that which was more than everybody on their team did and got sniper and sharpshooter I believe so, I apparently didn't switch over to the Sim 3 Lee. I'm not really sure why, but he dies, so 
battle's over, but hey, that's still a pretty good battle in my crom. While I killed two guys, did a whole lot of damage, and yeah. So, anyways, I'll uh, thanks, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.